Question 227. A dash endpoint is a network interface that uses a private IP address from your virtual network. And the options are A internal, B private, C hybrid, D public. And the correct answer is option B private. Explanation. A private endpoint is a network interface that uses a private IP address from your virtual network. This network interface connects you privately and securely to a service that is powered by Azure Private Link. By enabling a private endpoint, you are bringing the service into your virtual network. The service could be an Azure service such as Azure Storage, Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL Database, your own service using private link service. Next question. Which of the following provides support for key migration workloads like Windows, SQL, and Linux server, databases, data, web apps, and virtual desktops? And the options are A. Azure Migrate B. Azure Suggestions C. Azure Advisor D. Azure Recommendations And the correct answer is option A. Azure Migrate Explanation Azure Migrate provides all the Azure migration tools and guidance you need to plan and implement your move to the cloud and track your progress using a central dashboard that provides intelligent insights. Multiple scenarios use a comprehensive approach to migrating your application and data center e-state. Get support for key migration workloads like Windows, SQL and Linux Server, databases, data, web apps, and virtual desktops. Migrate to destination including Azure Virtual Machines, Azure VMware Solution, Azure App Service, and Azure SQL Database. Migrations are holistic across VMware, Hyper-V physical server, and cloud-to-cloud -cloud migration. Next question. Which of the following services can help applications absorb unexpected traffic burst? which prevents servers from being overwhelmed by a sudden flood of requests. And the options are A. Azure Queue Storage B. Azure Table Storage C. Azure Decouple Storage D. Azure Message Storage And the correct answer is option B. Azure Table Storage Explanation Azure Queue Storage is a service for storing large numbers of messages. You access messages from anywhere in the world via authenticated calls using HTTP or HTTPS. A queue message can be up to 64 KB in size. A queue may contain millions of messages up to the total capacity limit of a storage account. Queues are commonly used to create a backlog of work to process asynchronously. Next question. Your startup plans to migrate to Azure soon. But for all the resources, you would like control of the underlying operating system and middleware. Which of the following cloud models would make the most sense? And the options are A. Infrastructure as a service B. Software as a service C. Platform as a service D. Anything as a service And the correct answer is option A. Infrastructure as a service Explanation Infrastructure as a service is a type of cloud computing service that offers essential compute, storage, and networking resources on demand on a pay-as-you-go basis. IaaS is one of the four types of cloud services, along with software as a service, platform as a service, and serverless. Migrating your organization's infrastructure to an IaaS solution helps you reduce maintenance of on-premises data centers, save money on hardware cost, and Gain real-time business insights. IaaS solutions give you the flexibility to scale your IT resources up and down with demand. They also help you quickly provision new applications and increase the reliability of your underlying infrastructure. IaaS lets you bypass the cost and complexity of buying and managing physical servers and data center infrastructure. Each resource is offered as a separate service component and you only pay for a particular resource for as long as you need it. A cloud computing service provider like Azure manages the infrastructure while you purchase, install, configure, and manage your own software, including operating system, middleware, 
and applications incorrect answers a software as a service allows users to connect to and use cloud based apps over the internet common examples are email calendaring and office tools in this scenario you need to run your own apps but the os middleware and runtime are managed by the cloud provider b platform as a service is a complete development and deployment environment in the cloud paas includes infrastructure servers storage and networking but also middleware development tools business intelligence services database management system and more paas is designed to support the complete web application life cycle building testing deploying managing and updating here as well the os middleware and runtime are managed by the cloud provider c anything as a service is relevant to the question completely next question which of the following can you use to calculate your estimated hourly or monthly cost for using azure and the options are a azure pricing calculator b azure tco calculator c azure cost management d azure advisor e azure billing and the correct answer is option a azure pricing calculator explanation disclaimer prices are estimates and are not intended as actual price quotes actual prices may vary depending on the date of purchase currency of payment and type of agreement that you enter into with microsoft contact a microsoft sales representative for additional information on pricing next question select the valid options to pay for azure choose three options and the options are a azure website b azure partner c microsoft representative d microsoft stores e xbox website f any third party vendor and the correct answer is option a azure website b azure partner and option c microsoft representative explanation next question your cloud security team is looking to block any access from untrusted sources such as access from unknown or unexpected locations which of the following can they use and the options are a conditional access b multi factor authentication c policies d blueprints e resource locks and the correct answer is option a conditional access explanation conditional access is a tool that azure active directory uses to allow or deny access to resources based on identity signals these signals include who the user is where the user is and what device the user is requesting access from conditional access is useful when you need to number 1 require multi factor authentication to access an application you can configure whether all users require multi factor authentication or only certain users such as administrators you can also configure whether multi factor authentication applies to access from all networks or only untrusted networks number 2 require access to services only through approved client applications for example you might want to allow users to access office 365 services from a mobile device as long as they use approved client apps like the outlook mobile app number 3 require users to access your application only from managed devices a managed device is a device that meets your standards for security and compliance number 4 block access from untrusted sources such as access from unknown or unexpected locations next question which of the following are free and the options are a data ingress b data transfer within the same region c data transfer from one region to another d data transfer within same availability zone and the correct answer is option a data ingress b data transfer within the same region and option d data transfer within same availability zone explanation next question which of the following is the most flexible category of cloud services and the options are a infrastructure as a service 
B. Software as a service. C. Platform as a service. And the correct answer is option A. Infrastructure as a service. Explanation. IAS is the most flexible category of cloud services. It aims to give you complete control over the hardware that runs your application. Instead of buying hardware with IAS, you rent it. Next question. Since your company has shifted to a fully remote working model, they are looking to provide employees with the best virtualized experience while saving cost by using existing eligible Windows licenses. They also want to enable bring your own device to access their desktop and applications over the internet. Which of the following would you suggest? And the options are A. Azure Virtual Desktop B. Azure Kubernetes C. Azure Arc D. Azure Virtual Machines E. Azure File Sync F. Azure Express Root And the correct answer is Option A. Azure Virtual Desktop Explanation Azure Virtual Desktop allows you to enable a secure remote desktop experience from virtually anywhere. You can set up Azure Virtual Desktop, formerly Windows Virtual Desktop, in minutes to enable secure remote work. It is also possible to provide the familiarity and compatibility of Windows 11 with the new scalable multi-session experience for your end users and save cost by using existing eligible Windows licenses. Next question. Dash enables large scale parallel and high performance computing batch jobs with the ability to scale to tens, hundreds, or thousands of VMS. And the options are A. Azure Virtual Machines, B. Azure Batch, C. Azure Kubernetes, D. Azure Container Instances, E. Azure Parallel. And the correct answer is option B. Azure Batch. Explanation. Azure Batch enables large-scale parallel and high-performance computing batch jobs with the ability to scale to tens, hundreds, or thousands of VMS. When you are ready to run a job, Batch does the following. Number 1. Installs a pool of compute VMS for you. Number 2. Installs applications and staging data. Number 3. Run jobs with as many tasks as you have. Number 4. Identifies failures. Number 5. Requeues work. Number 6. Scales down the pool as work completes. Next question. Which of the following Azure plans should you choose for trial and non-production environments? And the options are A. Developer B. Standard C. Professional Direct D. Premier And the correct answer is option A. Developer Explanation Next question, your dash is your organization's ability to protect from and respond to security threats and the options are A. Security posture B. Security standard C. Security response D. Security blueprint And the correct answer is option A. Security posture Explanation The objective of defense in depth is to protect information and prevent it from being stolen by those who aren't authorized to access it. A defense in depth strategy uses a series of mechanisms to slow the advance of an attack that aims at acquiring unauthorized access to data. Your security posture is your organization's ability to protect from and respond to security threats. The common principles used to define a security posture are confidentially integrity and availability known collectively as CIA. Confidentiality The principle of least privilege means restricting access to information only to individuals explicitly granted access at only the level that they need to perform their work. This information includes protection of user passwords, email content, and access levels to applications and underlying infrastructure. Integrity Prevent unauthorized changes to information at rest when it's stored, in transit when it's being transferred from one place to another, including from a local computer to the cloud. A common approach used in data transmission is for the sender to create a unique fingerprint of the data by using a one-way hashing algorithm. The hash is sent to the receiver along with the data. 
the receiver recalculates the data's hash and compares it to the original to ensure that the data wasn't lost or modified in transit. Availability Ensure that services are functioning and can be accessed only by authorized users. Denial of service attacks are designed to degrade the availability of a system, affecting its users. Next question. A startup is looking to deploy a tool that monitors incoming and outgoing network traffic and decides whether to allow or block specific traffic based on a defined set of security rules. Which of the following would you recommend? And the options are A. A firewall B. A hub C. A router D. A gateway E. A filter F. A resource group And the correct answer is option A. A firewall Explanation A firewall is a network security device that monitors incoming and outgoing network traffic and decides whether to allow or block specific traffic based on a defined set of security rules. You can create firewall rules that specify ranges of IP addresses. Only clients granted IP addresses from within those ranges are allowed to access the destination server. Firewall rules can also include specific network protocol and port information. What's Azure Firewall? Azure Firewall is a managed cloud-based network security service that helps protect resources in your Azure virtual networks. A virtual network is similar to a traditional network that you'd operate in your own data center. It's a fundamental building block for your private network that enables virtual machines and other compute resources to securely communicate with each other, the internet and on-premises networks. Here's a diagram that shows a basic Azure Firewall implementation. Next question. A large organization plans to migrate all their on-prem virtual machines to an Azure Pay-as-you-go subscription. Which of the following expenditure models would this migration follow? And the options are A. Operational B. Elastic C. Capital D. Scalable And the correct answer is option A. Operational Explanation One of the major changes that you will face when you move from on-premises cloud to the public cloud is the switch from capital expenditure buying hardware to operating expenditure, paying for service as you use it. This switch also requires more careful management of your cost. The benefit of the cloud is that you can fundamentally and positively affect the cost of a service you use by merely shutting down or resizing it when it's not needed. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.